guys and welcome back to another train simulation video and today we're gonna be driving on the Chilton main line good morning driver please press T to open the doors we are, off, we are due off in around a minute so yeah Chilton main line is finally released by just trains and today we're gonna be doing one of the 14 scenarios that included on, with the route which is 1750 Molly Bone to Oxford Parkway we're driving a class 166 202 with the grey Chilton Railways livery right away driver next stop is Highway Come. let's get going then oops let's do a standstill there you go Yeah, this is London Marnival Station. Looking good. I actually need to check it out for a bit. Let's check it out. London Marnival, nice. Oh, don't speed, don't speed. <laughs> okay, while that train drives, then we can just check out London Marnival Station. So there's a street level. We got the entrance to the station. Looking good. We got Costa Coffee Machine place here. Nice. The ticket barriers. We got some class 166 on these two platforms. Looking good. And on the class 166 here. Nice. I believe we're going through the Marleybone tunnel now. And once we do come out we should see we should meet the Metropolitan Line and Jubilee Line tracks on the right hand side. We should be able to see our S8 stock Metropolitan Line as well because that AI is included with the route so I'm, I'm really excited for that, that's for sure. We have about 27 miles to High Wycombe, Platform 2. We're going to be stopping at Prince's Risborough, that's how you say it, and then we'll be stopping at Bichester Village, Platform 1. tracks on this side the two outer ones are for the metropolitan line and the two middle ones are for the jubilee line and i believe this is wilson west hampstead and yeah, this is west hampstead station there we go west hampstead station where you can change for obviously the midland main line Fimsling services and the London Overground. Oh, that was speeding. <laughs> Don't speed, game. Oh, can't even slow down, you know. There you go. Okay, there we 
Yeah, you know. Oops. I believe this is our Kilburn station now. Which is actually where I used to live five or six years ago. So, oh, look at that. S8 stock train, guys. Look at that. Oi. Nice. That's what I like to see. Very nice. That's probably going to um, Algate Station or terminating at Baker Street. That looks really nice, actually. The model isn't the best, but they've done a decent job. This is Kilburn Station. We can change the Jubilee line to Stratford or Stanmore. Very nice. It is quite laggy, the route, so... Best to stay in the cab. Another short term railway train. Hey, look at that, another S8 stock train. Let's actually take a screenshot because why not? There we go, nice. Look at that. S8 stock train. I don't think you can drive it, but it's only used for AI, but it looks really nice. That looks awesome, you know. Absolutely awesome. Back we go to the laggy cab. I believe this is our uh, Dollis Hill or Wolves and Green. I think that's Wolves and Green, I believe. And the next station should be Dollis Hill and then Leesden, and then we won't we'll be splitting off towards um, Highwicombe, basically. There is another branch of the Chilton um, Railways um, line which goes towards Aylesbury and it pretty much runs alongside the Metropolitan Line but unfortunately that part of the route isn't in the game so we can't do that unfortunately but maybe they can add it as an extension one day. I really wish they added the Jubilee Line stock as well, that would be awesome, you know. Yeah, this is Dollis Hill Station, nice. And the next station should be Neesden, then we should be turning off. There should be some tracks going straight down where the Metropolitan Line and Jubilee Line trains go towards Wembley Park Station, which is the next stop on the line after Neesden, and obviously the other Ch Chilton Railway branch. Done. I believe it must be. So yeah, as you can see we're turning off this side and the Metropolitan Line, the Chilton Railways, other branch and the uh, Jubilee Line trains continue straight on. Uh, let me quickly show you guys that. Oops, that's great. Yeah, that train can continue going that way. I believe this is the Depot. So this is the S8 stock. It's nothing special, but it looks pretty good. There is no in-cab view, I don't think. No, there isn't. They didn't bother to make it. That's okay. At least they went to the effort of adding it to the actual game and route, so that's nice of them. So yeah, the tr these tracks basically continue towards Wembley Park Station, but I wonder where this train's going to. Well, the train just disappeared, guys. Nice. That's very realistic. We are approaching Wembley Stadium now. So let's take a screenshot. Very nice. Very nice. I don't think this train is capable of 100 miles an hour, so... I am full throttle I'm only going 72 miles an hour so <laughs> we won't be able to uh, break the speed limit or go near the speed limit unfortunately. Wait, that was um, Wembley Stadium Station. Very nice. The next station should be Sudbury Town and something and then it should be Sudbury Town and Harrow or something like that. There's basically two Sudbury stations together so 
that's the next two stations on the line and then I believe it's Northfall Park and then it will be a South Rise Slip and West Rise Slip where you can change for the Central Line train. Now the Central Line train isn't added in the game in terms of the stop train so only the SA stop is added unfortunately. Okay this is Sudbury and Harrow Road. I'm not too sure why this trip it looks like this. I do have all the assets for the route, so I'm not too sure why it looks like that. Maybe I'm missing an asset or something. Or something happened during the installation process. 19 miles of highway con. But yeah, um this route costs 24.99 and runs from London Marleybone to Birmingham Snow Hill. It's approximately um, 112 miles long and of course you do get the S8 stock as AI included. I'm not too sure if you can drive the train. I'm pretty sure you can't but if you can then I, I will make a video on it next. We're going into the tunnel. Hopefully there's some lights in this tunnel unlike the last one. Okay, this one doesn't look too bad. With the route you get basically this train and basically you get this train, the class 166 and 165 with the, this livery and the blue and white livery. The train is a um, Delta game tr train so it sounds and the train model isn't perfect so but what do you expect? I don't expect just trains to make a brand new class 166 and 165. And on top of that, make the Chilton Mainline as well, so I don't blame them for not making it. So far, I'm liking it so far. But that sounded wrong. <laughs> Looking good. I have turned down my graphic settings quite a bit just to make sure it runs fine. But this is quite a long route. And other long route that Just Trains have made is the Western Mainlines, which is quite laggy as well on my PC, so I can't really run it on max. Graphics. I believe the next station should be Northall Park. I wonder where these tracks come from. I think that's the other way towards the um, Moneybone station. I think we passed um, Norfolk Park already. So basically, um, these three tr these three tracks are for Chilton Railways. The middle one is for fast services, and the other two on the outer ones are for stopping services at the station. Then we have this piece of track and this piece of track for the Central Line trains, which terminates at West Ryslip, which should be the next station along this line. I believe they're using S8 stop as well for the central line train, that's why obviously the central line train isn't in the game in terms of stop, so they use the S8 stop as AI, which is nice of them. I believe that's a de depot for the central line trains, nice. One of the features of this route. Yeah, we're lagging quite a bit. Let's go on the camp. Station West Ryslip, change it for the Central Line train. So yeah, Central Line trains terminate here. Let's change the station now. I've only been as far as South Ryslip in real life. I've never been to West Ryslip, so this is exciting. West Ryslip station. We've got the three platforms here. I mean, three pieces of track and the two. We've got four tracks here though for the Central Line. I'm guessing. We've got one terminating buffer here. And a few few tracks that carry on, which is nice. Looking good. Obviously, this is for Chilton Railways, and that's the London Underground logo. Let's take a screenshot of that. Why not? <laughs> oh, the lag, the lag. This is 
passenger review for the class 166 nothing special they haven't changed anything unfortunately that's okay now the stations that are coming up next I don't actually know because I didn't know all of the stations up until uh, south, uh, West Ryslip I mainly know the one on the other branch which goes to Elfbury up until uh, Amersham station because it runs along the metropolitan line so yeah I have no idea what station is next on mine but yeah let me quickly talk about the scenarios I included in this, in this route so there's 14 scenarios included there's around 3 or 4 scenarios included with the class 166 and 165 there's one scenario included with the class 68 children's railway delivery so I don't actually have a class 68 but I might buy it just to create a scenario for this route so stay tuned for that on my channel What station is this? I can't even see. It's not even telling me what station this is. I have no idea. Um. Oh, here it is. Welcome to Denham. Nice. So yeah, there's a class 68 scenario. There's a class 66 or 67 scenario as well. There's a couple of scenarios with a class 20. Class 220 Just Trains Voyager scenario, which I'll be playing next on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Another station here. Nice. Ten miles left to High Wycombe. I actually thought that this um, Chilton Mainline terminated at High Wycombe, but. Then I saw the map of the actual full Chilton Mainland and I saw it went all the way to um, Birmingham, New uh, Moore Street. It's no hill, sorry. It's not Moore Street. I was thinking of Birmingham New Street, but that's on <laughs> West Coast Mainland. Which I really want in the game, so just trains. If you're watching this video, then please make it happen. Now one of my subscribers is planning on making some scenarios for me for this route using Dropshot. Basically he will make the scenario and upload it to Dropbox and I will download it from there so expect some custom scenarios from him on my channel soon. What stage is this? I have no idea, what is it? It's Gerard's Cross, interesting. Cause this is all new to me. This part of the Chilton Mainland is all new to me. I've never been on this part of the route or any of these stations, so this is nice to see for the first time, even though it's on the game. What does that say? Real simulator, that's for sure. But yeah, um this route is a third party route from just trains, so it's not Steam Workshop compatible, so you can't people can't make scenarios for this normally they would have to do it through something like Dropbox where they make a scenario and have people download it from Dropbox or from other websites like UK train sim or something like that we are getting close to a pipe capital so we should slow down soon our arrival there should be 1815 but 18. It's 18 away, so that's fine. I thought we. I thought I said 18 or two for some a second. I thought like we like 10 minutes early or something, but we're good. Because the thing is, I can't go any faster than this. Like, is this train capable of 100 miles an hour? is capable of 75 miles an hour max in real life but this is a game so we seem to be, be able to go to up to 90 miles an hour almost
train is obviously came with the Great Western Mainline when Doctor Games released that route, which was one of the first routes they released for train simulators. So it's a long time ago, that's for sure. Long before I bought the train simulator. I bought train simulator in 2014, so I believe this came out in 2012, so two years before I played train simulator. This livery of the other one. I just don't know why. You would think um, blue and white would look better than grey and white, but I don't know. Grey looks kind of nice in the class 166 for some reason. We are approaching the station. What station is this? Beaconsfield. When we do play the other scenario that goes from Oxford to. Um, back to down to Marleybone then we do have to remember these stations that can be a li little test for me to see if I can remember all the stations going back towards London Marleybone yeah we should slow down I think oh I think we get lagged you know You may have seen a get um, game first for a couple seconds, don't worry. It's fine. Let me slow down now. We are a couple of minutes early anyway. But I do want to show you the roots of this route on the map thing, so I'll show you that once we reach High Wycombe Station. If anyone lives in High Wycombe, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if it's lifelike, basically. I have just trained did a good job in terms of making it similar to what it looks like in real life. Let me know. Yeah. 
here. We should be fine, I think. Yeah, we're fine. This is High Wickham. Hi, Wickham. Open the doors. Screenshot while you have time. So apparently this is Highwickham Station. We do have a terminating platform over here. The trains terminate here and then we have two tracks that carry on. Looking good. Actually, um, I'll show you the map in a minute. As we are about to depart the station. Weird. That looks weird. <laughs> right away, next stop, Princess Risborough, 1824 to 1825. Keep going. Even at 100 power, it takes up. It's speeding up quite slowly. Okay, let me quickly show you guys the map. So yeah, that was High Wycombe Station, which has three platforms, platform two and three for trains that are going via High Wycombe, or stopping High Wycombe, and platform one is a terminus. Let's go all the way to London Marleybone, where the train starts. Probably crashed the game instantly or something like that, so 
quite not a good idea. And that obviously goes towards Oxford, which is in um, added on the Chilton mainline. But the Beachester extension is added, so we have Beachester Village. And that's about it. <laughs> not much of an extension, is it? in time maybe oh god what's this oh, that's perfect <laughs> just about 
as I said, the breaks are not as good as I thought. Yeah, I must be missing some assets or something happened with my insulation because we have things like this that is just floating in the air. <laughs> Which looks kind of weird. And look at this, we've got more floating things here. Which is nice to see. It's nice name for a station though, that's for sure. Just gonna take a screenshot, why not? There we go. There's a way at the station. Should depart any seconds. Any second now. This train's ready to depart. Mind doors. Right away. Next stop, Bichester, Bichester Village, 1840. Let's get going. Let's do 100 power because it takes forever to um. Get to speed with the stream. I will probably have to get a classic C8 because I'm not a big fan of the class 166 and 165, but apart from the Voyager 220 um, scenario, that's the only. These are the only scenarios I can play with a class 166 and 165. So. The class 68 scenario looks really good. I think we're pulling our uh, some carriages as well with a class 68. Basically, it looks really nice. There's a screenshot of the class 68 pulling some carriages on one of the screenshots. So I really want to play that scenario. But first, I need to buy it, and then I need to install a reskin, which might might or might not work. Would it be nice if Ductile Gate added the Chilton Railways livery for the Class 68? But that's Ductile Games for you. Lazy, you know, lazy. Oh, we're picking up speed not too quite fast now, that's nice to see. 80 miles left to Beachester Village, platform 1. And the train will continue to Oxford Parkway. Train will terminate there. It would have been nice to go all the way to Oxford Parkway, but for some reason it's not available. Beachester Village is available, but Oxford Parkway isn't, which is weird. stations, I'm guessing West Hampstead Station, or Wilson Green, or Donis Hill, mainly uh, I would say West Hampstead Station there. Basically be a, uh, essentially it's a train spotting scenario at West Hampstead Station and you will see our uh, SA stop trains basically go past the station, if we can't drive it of course. 
think that would be quite nice to see. Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see that. Because I really wouldn't mind just watching as it stops trains passing. Those that are um, what's some sensation. I've seen it many times in real life, so I wouldn't mind seeing it in um, the game as well. And it would also would have been cool if they had the Jubilee Line stop train. Then we could have Jubilee Line and Metropolitan Line train spotting scenarios at um, those stations, you know. What could he do? Haddenham and Fame Parkway. That's a long station name, though. And quite hard to pronounce as well. And this station looks pretty good, you know. <laughs> Compared to other stations, like, this station looks really nice. Nicely made. Maybe one of the people who work for Just Trains who made this route live around, live at this station or near around this station in real life. So that's why they probably spend more time on this station or something. On the Chilton Railway train. Most likely going to Bum and Marleybone. Nice. Interested. Typical um, guy sitting on the train looking out the window. He's probably sleeping, kind of like me on the train. <laughs> yeah, I sleep a lot on the train, that's for sure. And she looks bored as fuck, so yeah. No surprise. If we were driving a class, if this was a classic stage, we, we would be at Bichester Village. Strip. We would be there already, you know. This train is too slow in my opinion for this route. I should have prayed to our Prendadino or something, or Voyager. <laughs> that would be really cool.
far as Zebra Crossing, you know. Oh, you know what? That cars have to wait for the train to pass by or something like that. That's what I thought it was. A road crossing.
Nah, I go full throttle and the train doesn't really go any faster, so... What do you want me to do about it? We're turning off. You might be going downhill, I think. So yeah, the tracks on the right hand side obviously go straight on towards our Birmingham Snow Hill. But we're turning off to the Oxford Parkway branch. Got a DIY shop there. Which is pretty much our B and Q, let's be honest. Okay, we're gonna speed up a bit. Yeah, we are gonna be late guys. We should be departing at 8.41, but we wouldn't have reached at 8.41, so... Nothing really I can do about it. Maybe they should have realized that this train isn't capable of going at the speed limits that this line runs on. But yeah, welcome to Beachester Village. I'm guessing they copied from the Beachester um, extension, which is no surprise, but it's a very nice station for that. Beachester Village Station, very nice. They've done actually a really good job on the station, that's for sure. Really good job. But yeah, this train terminates here. Well, I had something here actually. Another driver will carry on this train journey to um, Oxford Parkway. All change if you guys want. If you don't want another driver driving this train, that all change now. <laughs> and that should conclude my first scenario on the shorter mainline. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna be buying this route, and let me know what excites you about this route. If it's an S8 stock, then I feel the same way, man. Well done, driver. Thank you very much. Three out of four. Obviously, the last task we didn't complete because we were late. Speeding ones, that's okay. But yeah, that was the first night on the Chilton Mainline. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.